first welcome to my channel cancer moon oracles my name is rosa and i am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to do like a you versus them style love reading where we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love remember this is a general love reading and if it resonates please hit that like button to let me know and if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community, then you know what you need to do. We are going to open up with your energy first, Taurus. Okay, first card coming through is the Fool. And we've got the Two of Wands. So this is Taurus's energy towards the person that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay. So the Fool and the Two of Wands, hey? You may be connecting to an Aries. Hmm. What have we got here? Oh, we've got the Five of Cups with the Four of Cups. Five of Cups with the Four of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> Taurus's energy towards the person that they are connecting to. Okay, give me a moment, Taurus. Okay. So I'm seeing a lot of water in these cards for you. So I feel like it's a very emotional time for you, Taurus, which but you, you being an earth sign, um, you're very connected to the earth. And we're currently in Pisces season. So I feel for you, Taurus, you're having a, a hard time dealing with these emotions of yours, I feel. Or it's just that it, maybe it's a little bit out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, but I'm just seeing a lot of water in these cards, which is connecting me to your emotional side, okay? And the reason why you're feeling emotional is because the Two of Wands is here. And you're showing me with the Two of Wands that you feel that you and your person, the person that you're connecting to, are going in different directions, okay? Like you're going in different directions or you want different things. Yeah, something tells me here that you're on different paths. Mm. or you you felt one way but now you feel a different way like at one point you you know you were all in on this relationship or you really love this person but with the four of cups here like it's starting to lean more towards I'm starting to not care about this person as much anymore um, I don't really care what they do. Um, I'm starting to focus more on myself. Yeah. To me, it feels bittersweet. It's like a bittersweet energy, Taurus. I'm trying to decide if you're the fool or if the fool is your person that you're dealing with. Let me just clarify the fool. Spirit, tell me more about this fool energy. So 
so it's like on one hand Taurus you're showing me yeah it's like on one hand you're showing me some days you're like I don't care about this relationship anymore I know it's time to start fresh um, and, and go off in a new different direction and other days you're like feeling sad and you're mourning the loss of what used to be with this person because I'm seeing a snake here so for some of you Taurians, you don't even recognize or identify who this person even is anymore it's like when you look at this person you're like was like who even is this person I can't believe I was even with someone like this yeah six of swords is here clarifying the full so I do feel like this full energy is you I feel like you are struggling to move on you want to move on you want to move forward with your life uh, but it's like two steps forward ten steps back it's like that you know some days are easier and other days are harder so it, it really just depends what side of the bed you get out of some days but yeah I'm just even with the two of wands it's like it's a struggle some days are harder other days are easier you know what I just want to have a look at this five of cups for you tell me more about this five of cups tell me more about this five of cups energy the three of wands the three of wands The Five of Cups is, um, the Five of Cups generally speaks to like grief and loss. It's like a grieving process, you know, accepting that it's time to move on. And I feel like some of you are, you know, are going through that grieving process. You're, you're going through it and it's it's a struggle but you're you're going through it you're moving through it okay and the snake represents transformation so it's just be oh, I want to say uh, Taurus just to be kind to yourself okay change is uncomfortable and Taurus you're a fixed sign so it's it's going to be uncomfortable so just yeah just be kind to yourself is what I want to say mm. because where you're going it's it's going to be I feel like I want to say it's going to be a lot more calmer and it's going to be a lot more nicer than where you are right now. And I feel like deep down inside with this full energy, I feel like deep down inside you know that. Because you've got so much to look forward to. It's just with the five of cups here, you might just be overcome with a certain amount of grief or you might just be overcome with a certain amount of loss right now I'm just going to have a look at your person's energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of the person that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love. Please show me their energy towards Taurus. I'm going to take this one, which is the Six of Cups. Hmm. 
interesting. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is their energy towards Taurus? Guardian of Pentacles, which is the mother of Pentacles, which is you. <coughs> Oh, I'll take this one. The Eight of Pentacles. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card for Taurus's person's energy towards Taurus. Okay. You know what it is, Taurus? Um, I'm going to have a look at this Eight of Pentacles for your person because it seems like you're right. With the Two of Wands, it does feel like you guys were going in different directions. Apprentice of Swords. Okay. You may be connecting to an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or we've also got air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I just want to clarify this eight of pentacles though, just really quickly before I speak. Um, Spirit angels and guides, tell me more about this eight of pentacles energy. Tell me more about this eight of pentacles energy. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles energy. Why is there the Page of Pentacles? Hmm. just going to look at this um, Apprentice of Swords. Tell me more about this Apprentice of Swords. I'll, I'll tell you what it is in a moment, Taurus. Tell me more about this Apprentice of Swords. Tell me more about this Apprentice of Swords. The Eight of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So with the Guardian of Pentacles here, this person views you as someone who is like very stable, very grounded, someone who has got it all worked out, you know, um, you're very self-reliant, you're self-sufficient, um, you don't lean on anyone, you don't rely on anyone um, you have everything that you need um, at your fingertips here you're very stable uh, you're very level-headed uh, you've got a good head on your shoulders you're sensible um, all the things right <clears throat> Now, with the Apprentice of Swords, this person, I want to say, feels inadequate. Or like they feel like they're not good enough. Like this person, especially when the Eight of Swords is clarifying the Apprentice of Swords, this person feels like they they get in their head and they are sabotaging what could be a really beautiful relationship they may not even be aware that they're doing this and it's more than likely that they're not aware that they're doing it because they are the apprentice of swords 
and this person in this card is wearing a blindfold so they're not even aware that they are ruining this relationship through their own insecurities through their own fears this person is afraid of commitment because they don't feel like they can live up to your expectations so they are sabotaging it they're sabotaging it they can't live up to your expectations so they're sabotaging it and you know what Taurus you're probably not even setting any expectations it's all in their head the eight of swords is here which is it's all just it's make made up in their head these are the stories that they're telling themselves in their head mm. the wheel of fortune is here um They can't seem to see that you're destined to be together. Like they just, they can't seem to see that you're, you're destined or that you belong to one another. Which is a really sad thing. And I feel that with the Eight of Pentacles here that this person is like throwing themselves into their work or their like studies because you know the page of pentacles can be like a student card um, so instead of like prioritizing you or prioritizing the relationship they are prioritizing other things and really really it's just it's a form of distraction because then they don't have to focus on their fears. They don't have to focus on their inadequacies and they don't have to focus on their insecurities. And I feel like when they're around you, it comes out, it comes out. And I see it here in the six of cups it's so innocent Taurus like I feel like see see the birds I'm looking at the birds and one bird feels like a mummy bird and the other bird feels like a baby bird and I feel like this is like the dynamic or this is like your relationship they feel like the child you feel like the mummy or the daddy or you feel like more the mature one and they feel like the immature one and it's energetic this is energetic and when they're around you they just feel like you're like the proper one or like you're always trying to help them or you're always trying to teach them something um it's so innocent because the six of cups it's a card of generosity like you're just being your self like because you have so much to give and you just want to help you're so resourceful like why not like it makes so much sense to you but with this person Taurus they're not taking it that way they are not taking it this way it's making them feel inadequate I'm just going to clarify it <coughs> spirit yeah the queen of pentacles it's, it's coming out again 
you know, my mum, she's a Virgo and she's an earth sign. Um, and I know you're a, you're a Taurus and it's, it's different, Taurus, Virgo. But I'm just going to, I just feel with the Queen of Pentacles that she's so giving She's so generous with her time, her energy, her resources. She just wants the best. But sometimes the Queen of Pentacles, it, it can be to a fault. Okay, it can be to a fault. Um, Because look, now you can see it here energetically. See, like Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. See, energetically, this is what they're feeling. They're feeling inadequate. They're feeling not good enough. They feel like they can't live up to who you want them to be. As, as much as they try, um, they just feel like they can't be who you want them to be. And you might not even be saying anything to them. It's an energy thing. It's an energy thing, right? And you can even see it in, like if you look at this card, look at the body language of this person. Like they just look defeated, kind of. They just look defeated, like, yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, that's, that's what I'm getting there. I'm just going to look at their next action towards you. Spirit, angels and guides, what is this person's next actions towards Taurus this week? What is this person's next actions towards Taurus this week? What is this person's next actions towards Taurus? <clears throat> okay, so the Seven of Pentacles with the well this this is labeled idea but it it is representing the judgment card okay okay so look here's the good news the good news is, is this person doesn't want to throw it all away. They don't want to throw what you have together away. Okay. Um, the Seven of Pentacles tells me that this person is invested in, into the connection. They're invested into the relationship. I'm just going to clarify this um, judgment card. Yeah, the nine of pentacles is here. I feel like what it is, uh, Taurus, is this person has to realize... their own strengths and that's why you fell in love with them that's what drew you to them in the first place you know but I feel like they are they're kind of just focusing on their flaws So their next actions towards you. I'm just going to draw another card. What I definitely want to say is, is I want to say that they are invested in the relationship. Okay, I don't feel like they're going to go anywhere. Give me another card for this judgment card. Yeah, they're staying put. King of Pentacles. Mm. 
yeah, they'll eventually get there. Mm. Yeah, I don't feel like this person's going to go anywhere, uh, Taurus. Okay, if this person appears to be going off in a different direction, um, I feel like they will return. Okay, and when they do return, they will they will come back more committed than ever, and they will show more stability within the connection also I also feel that they will better themselves or improve themselves in some way um, I feel like this person is going to be planting seeds to be a better person uh, not just for you but for themselves so they can be more confident within themselves for you did i just say that just in a different way let's take a look at your let's take a look at your energy well why not let's just take a look at your energy let's take a look at taurus's energy okay i'll take the first card that i see which is the ace of wands I like that the ace of wands for Taurus's energy I feel like you will well the ace of wands is a new beginning okay um, so I feel like you will be happy that this person is, you know, initiating action in the first place and that they're being proactive in the first place. I feel like you will be excited to explore where this um, connection or where this new beginning can take you both. Um, I see a butterfly here also, so I feel like maybe this situation has also maybe transformed you for the better. So that's positive. I'm just going to grab a Wisdom of the Oracle card just for some last parting messages and or advice. Okay, yeah. So we've got regeneration. So it's almost like a tower energy, this card, regeneration. So I feel like this tower moment had to happen between the both of you. Okay, the way things were going between the both of you, something needed to shift, something needed to change. It couldn't keep going the way it was between the both of you because otherwise it was just going to self-implode or self-destruct. Um, yeah, I feel like a shift needed to take place, Taurus, so that your situation, your connection, your relationship can be rebuilt and this time on solid ground so that it can grow stronger and more stable and more sturdier than ever. And the other card that's coming through is higher power. Higher power. So what I'm getting here with the higher power card is I'm getting that the universe was at play here. I feel like what do I mean by that? And this is a number four card. So 
I feel like the universe was at play here because the universe could see that the way things were was very unstable and the universe had to create this tower moment so that you can have the stability that you are looking for, that you require, that you need. Mm. Because the higher power, it's almost like the bigger picture. You know, the universe could see the bigger picture. And so the universe kind of stepped in and kind of, you know, made this happen. But like I said, it's it's going to, your, your relationship is going to grow back even stronger. It's, it's going to grow back um, stronger because I'm seeing this tree grow back healthier and better. You know, the roots are going to be even deeper into the ground. So what doesn't break your connection here is only going to make you guys stronger. So that's where I'm going to leave the reading, guys. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, Taurus.